the business plan overview. This flowchart will be in the learner guide. It follows a process after the introduction where we're looking at the business overview, the plan strategy outcomes, then these sections which are typical in business plans, the current situation review, and that's a current external review, market analysis, and an internal review of the organisation. Following on from that, the true marketing plan creation will start in these blue boxes with the marketing mix for a services company, it's the seven P's, finding the points of difference, the unique selling proposition, and then on to the SWOT analysis, the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats of the market and the internal operations. After the analysis phase of the business planning, we get to set strategies. We set the growth strategy, look at the risks of gaining that growth, finding the critical success factors and stating them, and from those a competitive advantage. In this situation, this part of the business plan, we're also looking at the balance scorecard benchmarking, which is a way to create numbers and ratios that I will explain later that can be acknowledged throughout the business as a meter, as a, as a metric to judge the success of the business plan. The vision statement is created after these strategies and tactics are put in place. And then the functional objective strategies and tactics are outlined, the financial strategies and tactics are outlined, leading to the last sections in grey, the actual action plans with people's names and dates, the finalisation of the balance scorecard, the communication of it, and the management objectives in terms of process changes for them. At the very end of the business plan, the marketing situation is updated and that's a continual cycle throughout the business planning phase where if the market and the competitor situation changes it may change some of the strategies and the actions that are coming from that. More on each individual part in the next video.